on a whole, I'd say it's going quite well. It's been better personally, like obviously playing more than I did last year. I've had a, uh, a bit of a troublesome time really last year. Um, but it's been all right. The team's doing, it started off quite well. I think at the moment we'd probably hope for a little bit more consistency in some of the results, but overall I'd say things are going quite well. You did have a bit of an injury hit campaign your first season back at St James's Park from the previous spell. Yeah. Um, with that in mind, have you set any goals this season in, in terms of um, from personal level? Uh, personally, yeah, obviously just to, to try and play more games obviously than I did last season. Just try and be available and just do my best, do whatever I can to help the team and just do what I can really, yeah. When you're out injured, um, how difficult do you find it and are there any tricks you, you have to keep yourself but beat during those times? Um, I would say over the past, well not too long after really when I left here the first time, I, I kind of had to start managing myself so there was times where I, where I've been out of the team and I kind of know what that feeling is like where maybe through injury or having to miss games just through management of my knees and things like that. So I kind of understood the feeling and just I know what to expect really so it's it's just about being professional really and just looking after yourself doing Come, what you can. It comes easier with a bit of experience of it then. I, I guess so yeah. 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 Um, we saw on your uh, Instagram that you are taking your coaching badges. Um, what are your ambitions with regards to, to that? Um, it's just a thought really or something for after, I'm never gonna, no one's gonna play forever obviously. Uh, just an option really for after football. Something some people told me that they think I'd maybe be good at. Uh, something I kind of enjoy doing so kind of looking down that route at the moment. And you've also done a, a fair bit of coaching work with the football and the community. Um, can you tell us a bit about, about that, what you've been doing? <coughs> Um, a bit in the off season and start of the season I've done some work with first it was the football in the community um, and a bit more recently it's been some stuff in the academy with Wayne okay. but uh, yeah it's been quite good like I enjoy it the kids are funny sometimes mm -hmm. uh, talented but it's, it's, it's good it's uh, something I enjoy doing What age, age groups are you working with in the academy? Um with Wayne, it was around the 14s and the 16s at the moment that's been. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you left, first left Dexter in the summer of um, 2012 and, and rejoined in the summer of 2016. Yeah. What was it about City that made you wanted to come back here? I, like I like the club, I've always liked the club. I've always enjoyed the kind of, the feeling of around the club. Since I've left, like I've obviously I've experienced more more different things and seeing different things, met different people and like nothing's really how it is here. There's a really good feel about the club. Everyone's kind of together within the club for for many different reasons really. But it's it's a really I'll say close knit club and there's just there's good people here. I've I've always enjoyed my time here. It's weird really, there's a few things have changed but there's a lot of things still the same. <laughs> but uh obviously there's still there's there's been improvements on some parts. Obviously it's helped with, there's a good standard of players coming through at the club, which is obviously a good, good um, if players actually end up moving on, it's a good revenue stream for the club, which has helped fund certain things. So um, yeah, things have changed, but a lot of things are still the same in good ways. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it must, must be quite uh, pleasing to see some of the you know good things stay, stay the same from when you, when you were last here, yeah. you know, easy set back in. Yeah, obviously, like, I'm not the first one to come back. I'm not, there's a few of us come back, so it's obviously a place where people like being, where they've maybe been there before and, and they've come back. Um, you mentioned there that a few familiar faces in the dressing room. Um, recently, Dan Seaborn and Paul Jones have come back as well. Yeah. How nice is it to see them back and, and what do you think they bring to the squad? It's good now. Obviously, all the boys that have, all of us that have left and come back, obviously we bring. You'd like to think we bring a bit more experience from when we was here before, and talent. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. that we've obviously got. What are they? Those two characters like around the dressing room, Dan Seaborn and Paul Jones. 
they got on quite well with each other. I remember that from when I was when I was here before. So um, Scrap's quite funny. Yeah. Uh, Jones is quite sometimes, but they're both. They're I think they're both good characters really for the group.